We're studying the many fires that occurred after the Japan earthquake and tsunami, um, how they occurred, how they spread, and, and were eventually suppressed. It's common for fires, to, for many fires, to ignite after an earthquake, um, and under the right circumstances, they can develop into huge fires that are difficult to suppress, um, creating huge losses and, in some cases, dominating the event. So it's important for us to better understand this phenomenon so that we can develop strategies to reduce the risk and to prepare for the fires that are going to occur. Earthquakes, and in particular major fires after earthquakes, are very rare. So we want to take advantage of any opportunities to learn, even if it's not exactly the same. Um, so there are some differences between Japan and the U.S., say California or the West Coast where earthquakes typically happen. Um, but there are a lot of similarities, so we hope that by understanding what happened in Japan, we can apply some of those lessons back to the U.S. as well.